Now many of you know that this channel used to be a WWE gaming channel, man, I miss those days. With that being said, WWE 2K17 will be on this channel. People power! I don't know. Unfortunately, WWE 2K17 will miss a lot of updates like Shelton Benjamin, Rhino maybe, new arenas, new theme songs, everything that happened during WWE brand split, but it's going to be a great game anyway. Now these are superstars that were not in WWE 2K16 because they didn't debut yet or they just wasn't in the game for some fucked up reason. Now obviously there are a lot of legends we should be in this game, but now we're talking about must have. So you're watching top 20 new roster additions that must be in WWE 2K17. Dana Brooke. I gotta be honest right here, I hate her ass. Like, she's so boring, she's not talented. We need a lot of women in this game, we need new superstars, NXT wrestlers, divas, women. So she's a great addition if you want to have Charlotte Ryrie with someone so you can add her as a manager and uh, you're probably never going to play as her but she's new, whatever. Braun Strowman. He wasn't in WWE 2K16 even when he had to be, like he was supposed to be in that game, now give me a break. Even as a Wyatt family member, he is a must have superstar, but now he's a singles guy on Raw and he's probably getting a huge push. So this guy is must have in WWE 2K17, but he's probably not going to have his new haircut, you know, he shaved like a dick, I, I don't know, but... Rhino. Now many of you would say that it is not possible because he just debuted. Well, you're wrong. Rhino was a big part of NXT several months back. We have an NXT edition, so I think NXT is going to be a huge part of this game. Rhino is 50-50% probably going to be in the game and he is a must have. The Shining Stars. Now I... I made this list two days ago and it's been confirmed that Shining Stars are not in the game but we will have Los Matadores who are the same guys but with a different gimmick, a crappy gimmick, a, di a gimmick that I wanna forget. Anyway, I hope we can remove masks and all that kind of stuff but who knows. Mojo Raleigh. Okay, let's be honest right here. What is this gimmick? But anyway, he's a new star, NXT star, he just debuted on SmackDown, he's in a tag team with Zack Ryder, it's a must have thing in a game. Whether you wanna make him into a main eventer for the World Heavyweight Championship or a jobber, he's still a great addition to the roster. Asuka. In the last year's game, we didn't had a lot of women, we didn't even had 4 horsewomen. Asuka is a huge part of NXT, one of the top NXT women, like there's four women, it's still, she's a great wrestler and she is a must be superstar in WWE 2K17, Nia Jax. Good news everybody, she has been confirmed to be in WWE 2K17 in NXT edition. She is a unique woman and it's going to be awesome to squash some females with this dominant Samoan woman. I think she's Samoan, like she's The Rock's cousin or something like that. Now why the fuck The Rock's family is in the WWE, like half of the roster is The Rock's cousins. The Revival, the second best NXT tag team after the American Alpha, and American Alpha is now on SmackDown, so the best NXT tag team, I guess. I think they are going to be in this game, because if they're not, that would be a huge fuck up. Anyway, these are very entertaining guys. Tag team wrestling is awesome in the WWE right now, so this tag team is a must have. The Dudleys, we did not had the Dudleys in WWE 2K16, because it was too late, unfortunately. Now the Dudleys are not very entertaining today, but we still could recreate some awesome Attitude Era moments. But either way, it would be so awesome to play as the Dudley Boys, the, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Becky Lynch. Like I said, she was supposed to be in the game and she wasn't and we were very disappointed. Now I gotta be honest, I don't often play as women. But there are some people that love to do that, so it's a must-have thing, if she's not in the game, she's in. That That's just obvious, she's in the game. American Alpha. I would say 
one of the greatest tech teams today, not only NXT, SmackDown, Raw, it doesn't matter, one of the greatest things, very entertaining, very talented. They debuted on SmackDown and they're probably going to be in this game because they are former NXT tag team champions. Apollo Crews, this guy has been confirmed to be an NXT edition. I think exclusive, if it's exclusive, it's a bullshit because now he's competing for Intercontinental Championships, United States Championships, and if he's only NXT edition exclusive, that would be bad. In my opinion, he will be available for everybody to buy later on. Either way, a great addition, great mid Carter must have in 2K17. Austin Aries, a TNA guy. Last year we got Samoa and Joan, who is an TNA guy, but debuted in NXT. Now we have Austin Aries, who debuted a while ago, so he's probably going to be in 2K17. So it is very awesome. I hope he's actually in this game, and he's a must-have. Charlotte, a former women's, the first women's champion in the WWE, she's definitely 100% in the game and she's totally a must-have because she's a top female in today's WWE. Alberto Del Rio, I love saying that, Del Rio. <laughs> He was in WWE 2K15 but he was not in WWE 2K16 because he was fired from the WWE during that time. Now he's not doing anything important but he's a great entertainer, great talent, he is must have in WWE 2K17 because he's a former world WWE United States Champion and he has been in WWE for a while now so he is a must have talent in 2K17. Bailey. Again, she wasn't in the game last year and everybody were pissed. She's a former NXT Women's Champion, one of the most entertaining females. She always gets a huge crowd reaction and I always appreciate these women that speak with not her boobs but with her talent. The Club Gallows and Anderson debuted just after WrestleMania. So maybe and probably they are going to be DLC characters in 2K17. Now I don't know if they are going to be in the game at all because most of the time all the rosters are decided before Wrestlemania but who knows because we had a lot of changes in the WWE so maybe they are just going to make it in the game. I say 50-50 chance but probably DLC. Sasha Banks, the most liked female in the WWE right now, a WWE Women's Champion. She's definitely going to be in the game, if she's not that would be the biggest fuck up by the WWE ever. She is in the game, mark my words, Shinsuke Nakamura, shockingly this guy has been confirmed for WWE 2K17 NXT edition, so if you wanna play early as Shinsuke Nakamura, you gotta pay for that NXT edition and it's bad, we will probably will be able to play as him later on, but still, having this guy in the game is a shocker, awesome thing, it will be so fun to play as this guy, again he's a must have because he's one of the best in NXT right now. And number one must have WWE superstar in the roster of 2K17 is obviously AJ Effin Styles. 60, 70 or 80 percent of me playing this game will be me playing as freaking AJ Styles. His moveset is amazing, he's probably going to be so awesome to control, very entertaining guy, one of my favorites of all time. He was on Wrestlemania, Fastlane, main event at several pay-per-views with Roman Reigns, so he's probably going to be in the game and good news actually he is in the game. Brock Lesnar's entrance in 2k17 was released and we saw a lot of AJ Styles shirts that I actually have the blue one you know that shirt was in the game. So good news we are probably going to have a great roster but unfortunately we will probably not get Shelton Benjamins on and all these superstars that are going to return because of the brand freaking split which i love i love the brand split but who knows what is going to happen anyway thanks for watching i don't know if i will upload anything tomorrow because i'm going to my girlfriend's cousin's wedding so i might just record something right now it's pretty late it's 11 p 
p.m. I will edit for several hours. This video in my country will be in uh, 3 a.m. I, I, I don't even know. Anyway, I miss gaming so much, man. I These were the best times of my YouTube thing. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of subscribers, like 30,000. Uh, uh, if I would do gaming right now, I'd probably get some views and shit. That would be so amazing. I miss it. 2K17 comes out. This channel will be attacked with gaming. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. It means so much to me. If you press that like button, it means that you enjoyed this video. And this is great. So if you want to support this video, this channel, like, subscribe, share, comment your most wanted superstar in 2k17 that i did not mention and if you want to support the channel even more you can leave a dollar two dollars anything like that helps a lot that helps with productions of these videos and thank you very much for that this is the great one as always peace love and hugs